What is up, you guys? We are back. And today I have an interesting po post that I just came across in the Neville subreddit. And it is called, so I don't know if you guys have heard of David Seedler, but apparently he won the Oscar for the best screenplay for The King's Speech. And he imagined his cancer away. That's the name of this post. So here it is. What you might not know is that Seedler, 73, suffered from cancer just like the king did. But unlike his majesty, Seedler survived the cancer, and he says he did so because he used the same vivid imagination he employed in writing his award-winning script. Seedler says he visualized his cancer away. I know it sounds awfully Southern California and woo-woo, he admits when he described the visualization techniques he used when his bladder cancer was diagnosed nearly six years ago. But that's what happened. Seedler says that when he found out his cancer had returned, he visualized a lovely, clean, healthy bladder for two weeks and the cancer disappeared. He's been cancer free for more than five years. Whether you can imagine away cancer or any other disease has been hotly debated for years. One camp of doctors will tell you that they've seen patients do it and that a whole host of studies supports the mind-body connection. Other doctors, just as well-respected, will tell you the notion is preposterous. And there's not a single study to prove it really works. Sigler isn't concerned about studies. He says all he knows is that for him, visualization worked. This is really interesting because, and the top comment here we have, that's funny, I was watching a show called The Golden Girls. One of the characters mentioned that every night she imagined that a sty would go away, and it did. I'm listening to Becoming Supernatural by Joe Dispenza, and it tells about a woman healing herself of health issues. And I am familiar with Joe Dispenza, and I've read, I've read the book, Becoming Supernatural as well. I didn't, I didn't completely finish the book, but I've read through it. And he, he, in his workshops, he makes, a, he's made a lot of claims of people overcoming lot, lots of traumatic illnesses that he has firsthand witnessed and experienced. And I do believe that certain people are having these miraculous recoveries. With that being said, I mean, I do think it it hinges on things that we don't fully understand whether or not people are able to recover from these illnesses and some of the ca cases, terminal illnesses like this cancer. But I just think it's very interesting. And most of the time, these types of stories don't get mainstream news attention. Now, I'm not sure where this story was pulled from, but it's clearly clipped out of an article here and left on the Neville subreddit. So I thought it was really interesting. I don't know if any of you have watched The King's Speech or um, are familiar with Seedler and his work, but whenever we have people that are in the mainstream eyes and the mainstream that come out and have stories like this, it's really awesome because it's people that are in the limelight and the spotlight coming in forward with these stories is very encouraging for the rest of us to hear. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, drop me a like, drop me a comment as usual, and I will see you guys very soon.